Welcome along to the second module that we've got in governance and business law. This week, we're going to be looking far more at normative ways of thinking about ethics. So you'll remember from last week, we discussed uh, what ethics is, what it's not, how it's different to some other standards that we might see in society. And we also looked at the role of uh, the organization in shaping the behavior of the individual when we're at work. So this week, we're going to talk about some frameworks to help us think about the ethics of an issue or a dilemma that we might face. You remember last week we said that there are kind of three core ways of thinking about ethics. One is in terms of meta-ethics, which asks questions about ethics itself. And we specifically spoke about um, whether ethics could actually be relative or whether it's absolute in terms of one of these meta-ethical questions. We also said that you could have descriptive um, ethical questions, which are describing the way things are, and importantly, normative ethical questions. Normative eth ethical questions are about what we should do. And so the frameworks we're gonna talk about are actually normative frameworks. The developers of these frameworks and the people who've extended them and used them suggest that these frameworks give us an answer about what we should do. They help us work out what's ethical, one of the key things that guides our actual behavior. So why don't we dive in? At the end of the module, we should have a basic understanding of six key ethical models. So man, that's a lot of models to get through, but we break them down into essentially three different kinds uh, of models. So we're gonna have six models or frameworks for you to think about. We're gonna be able to apply them to the business context. And in doing so, it's gonna give us a way to look at the advantages and disadvantages of each of these frameworks. Because I think as we go through, you'll get to understand there's probably not one answer to a framework that would help us. And I'll round our discussion out at the end by talking about this idea of a pluralistic approach to ethical dilemmas. So one of the key challenges that faces us in ethics is that we can judge whether an act or decision is ethical in different ways. Okay, so the classical confrontation that we see in ethics is between someone who would judge an ethical act uh, based upon the outcome. So is the outcome ethical? Uh, another person might look at exactly the same incident and they would look at what is being done, the way it's being done, and they would judge that. They would judge the ethics of the act or decision based upon that, how it's being done, and ignore the actual result. And there's actually a third way of looking at things. Um, you could ask, you know, what would an ethical person who's kind of balancing these things do in this situation? And that's the basic framework that we're going to use to explore these different models. So as you can see, we've got two models each for three ways of looking at uh, an ethical decision or action. First, we've got a consequentialist approach, which is sometimes referred to as teleological in its approach to governance. It looks at the outcome or the end. So you judge whether something's ethical based upon the consequences. The two frameworks we're going to look at there are ethical egoism, which concentrates on the self, and classic utilitarianism, which is a very widespread approach to thinking about using ethics, particularly um, in, uh, in the business setting. I think we often see uh, consequences being used. Okay, then we're gonna switch gear, talk about a deontological approach, which is a duty approach. You know, your duty to do things a certain way. In particular, we're going to have a look at uh, Kant's approach, in terms of how he suggested you might be able to think about whether an act or a decision is ethical. And we're also going to have a look at moral rights theory, a brief look at moral rights theory 
uh, because I think a lot of people talk about rights, etc., uh, at the moment. Finally, we're going to look at um, what an ethical person would do. So note the big difference here. These two are judging whether something's ethical based at the act or the decision level, right? So they look at an action or a decision and say, is that action or decision ethical? This third set instead focuses on the person, right, the agent, and says, what would an ethical person do here? Hmm, very interesting, different perspective. In particular, we're, we're uh, going to have a look at one of the classic frameworks provided by Aristotle, virtue ethics, and a more recent one, um, the ethics of care. So there you have it. It's, that's just a broad way of thinking about the different ethical frameworks that are available to us. And what we're trying to give you is a set of tools so that you can examine an ethical problem from multiple different angles.